Namaskar. Today we shall discuss the three pillars of treasury and treasury management. So, cash and cash management is the primary need of every business. Proper cash flow, whether it is inward or outward, writes the success story of a business. Actually, the failure of a business depends on the improper cash flows. When someone squeezes the cash in the business, it tends to flop. All these functions are managed through the treasury management. So it determines the proper levels of cash or cash equivalents to allow business the ability to meet their financial obligations. Actually, timely, timely submission of the financial obligation creates the goodwill of a business. Treasury management plays a crucial role to ensure that a business successfully manages their financial risk. So there are three main structures in the functioning of a treasury. Front office, it works as a risk trading and front dealing with the stakeholders. Mid office, it works the function of risk management and management information. Third, back office, which confirm the deals, accounting, settlement of dues, reconciliation, etc. So, what are the functions of a front office? Front office has to buy, sell, trade in money market instruments, securities, forex, equity, derivatives, and precious metals, etc., for which a particular treasury is empowered by the RBI. To take decisions in regard to restructuring, reorganizing, and prepayment, etc., to keep track of and develop their views on different asset class, securities, currencies, derivative products, which are put up to departments, head investment committee for arriving at trading strategic investment entry or exit decisions. So uh, they have, because they are uh, involved in day-to-day -day market, what trend is going on, what is the, what should be stop loss. So, so, so they have to guide they have to feedback to the upper management so that correct policy should be incorporated into the system so other functions are maintenance of crr and slr as per the rbi guidelines significant interaction with various trading and delivery teams liquidity management aln implementation striking of deals trading and earning profit from the trading, follow when issued securities, place order and square up the order well in time against the future holdings, manage short selling and square up the securities well in advance and reporting to respective authorities. So next uh, number came of mid office which uh, formulated the policies of risk management and uh, it is a guiding office uh, which works uh, between the uh, front office and the back office. The mid office is considered to be the consensus keeper of the treasury. It is responsible for critical functions of independent market risk monitoring, measurement, analysis, and reporting of the bank's asset, liability management committee. Have a function of reporting to and encompassing the responsibility for acting as asset liability management committee, ALCO. Secretariat provides independent risk assessment, which is critical to asset liability management committee, key functions of controlling and managing market risks in accordance with the mandate established by the board or risk management committee of a institution, bank, or financial institution. 
it is highly specialized function and must include trained and competent staff and expert in the market risk assessment who can judge who can view who can uh, have an open mind uh, uh, and inclined to risk uh, strategies so to prepare forecast simulations showing the effects of various possible changes in the market conditions related to the risk factors banks using where or modeling methodology should ensure that its liability asset and liability management committee algo are aware of and understand the nature of the output how it is derived assumptions and variables used in generating the outcome and any shortcomings of the methodology implied so segregation of duties principle must be evident in the function which must report to the asset liability management committee also independently of the treasury function so segregation of the duty is must and it should be a maker checker concept it is no all the functions are not given to one candidate because it is a high value transactions so functions are mark it risk management of market risk liquidity risk and country risk so market risk arises on account of interest rate movements foreign exchange rate movements commodity prices and equity prices another is liquidity risk and country risk country risk can be arise independent market risk monitoring measurement analysis reporting of banks alco formation of investment policy of bank treasury and formation of alm policy of the bank now the third tire is back office which is responsible for the accounting etc so back office is responsible for delivery and settlement of all transactions concluded by the front office officials it is also responsible for reconciliation of securities portfolio with respective holding entity payment of brokers to the brokers and penalment of brokers reviewing performance of the brokers monitoring of volume of the business passed on to each broker is also under the purview of the back office coordination with the front office to ensure optimum uses of the all treasury dealing systems internal control and check over treasury dealings confirmation and settlement activities and accounting thereof ensuring compliance with standard treasury procedures and stipulations monitoring of slr and crr maintenance and submission of compliances mis to the board of directors and rbi and audit facilitation whether it is concurrent statutory rbi etc and he has to review the policies as per the rbi guidelines as per the bank board guidelines so thank you thank you very much i am a ex banker having experience of 30 years and value of financial instruments kindly subscribe the channel thank you